Suited and booted, these factory workers are practising social distancing and ensuring health and safety standards are maintained. They're making thousands of masks a day by hand. It can push the uh, air and it cannot receive the air. Like many other countries around the world, there's a shortage of gear to protect Afghans against COVID-19. You know, Afghanistan is a poor country. We don't have enough money to spend for protecting our people. I myself try to help Afghanistan because in the international market, the PP kit costs around $60. Uh, but in here, just in $5 with the same standard. The factory in the capital, Kabul, is also providing employment opportunities. I was jobless before this and was doing nothing in lockdown at home. But I'm lucky that I have this job now, serving my people. The government says coronavirus has infected close to 3,000 people. But the true total is feared to be much higher. There are not enough testing kits and it's difficult to track case numbers, especially in rural areas. Nearly a third of 500 people tested for COVID-19 out of a population of 5 million in the capital, Kabul, were positive. In a bid to contain the virus, a nationwide lockdown has been extended until May 24, but has widely been ignored by the public. So this is not a complete lockdown. Why hasn't the, the government ensured and implemented a complete lockdown? Two factors primarily. One is um, massive unemployment and poverty. I mean, a hungry man is an angry man. You cannot keep him and push him to be at home all the time. Up to a quarter of a million poor families living in Kabul started receiving 10 pieces of bread a day in the first phase of the government handout programme. The charity Save the Children warns millions of Afghan children are at risk of going hungry. Food is also being distributed by community volunteers going door to door to raise safety awareness during the pandemic. Poor people are contacting us for help, but unfortunately we cannot provide enough help. We prioritise the poorest of the poor, for example, the widows who have no one to take care of them. Decades of war in Afghanistan has damaged the health system. Hospitals rely on aid from the World Health Organization and countries such as China and Turkey. Despite the foreign help, Afghanistan remains poorly prepared for a major outbreak. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.